Hello out there, Internet. It's me, James Ferguson from Horror Talk, with another episode of What's in the Box, the Loot Crate Edition. This is the March 2018 box. I have no earthly idea what is inside it, nor do I know what the theme is, so we're going to find out together. Joining me, as always, are my two unwilling co-hosts. Oliver. And... Parker. Good job, guys. Okay. Right on point this month. So, we're going to open up this box, see what's inside, what kind of nerdy goodies await us. So, but what do you guys think is inside the box? A volcano and lava. Okay. You're going to need some new material. Okay, we're getting over this. Yes, yes. We will open it together. We're going to open it together. All right. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty small box. Do you think there's going to be a volcano in there? will be a small volcano, won't it? Yeah. It's hot lava. It's volcano. No, no. Daddy, Daddy, the whole thing is full of lava. Well, wouldn't it be hot? Can you touch it? Hot. It's not hot. Is it hot? No, it's not hot. No, no, you you run weird then, so no. All right, can you guys help me open this? Mm -hmm. You too. You're gonna do it together. Ready? One, two, three. Um, All right. So we got in the inside here. We got this little like kind of old school TV look to it. So we're gonna see. Back up. Back up. Okay. So first up, we have our T-shirt right yes, on sir. top. We got our T-shirt right on top. It says Back to the Future on it. Uh, let's see what this looks like. Uh, looks like the schematics for the DeLorean. It's a nice uh, setup there. Um, yeah, Loot Crate exclusive t-shirt. I, I like this. Um, again, the material is the same kind of like, it looks like a back to kind of like that like a thin quality that uh, has been known. So again, this will shrink probably one or two washes and then I won't be able to wear it ever again. Um, so if my, if my wife will take, will be the benefit benefactor of uh of this shirt Daddy, all right that's the back to the future yes hold it. hey hey hey, hey. Yeah, yeah we're gonna we're gonna get there okay I hold on a minute hold on the... okay you want to play with the t-shirt no okay so wait we're gonna find out what else is inside here okay all right let's see all right i'm gonna take out the next thing we got a D, &D red dragon die keeper uh this uh, is the most covetous of the true dragons uh, red dragons tirelessly seek to increase their treasure hoards. They are exceptionally vain, even for dragons, and their conceit is reflected in their proud bearing and their disdain for other creatures. So again, adult collectible, not a toy. That is probably not going to stop these two from grabbing at this. You know, I, I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, but not for lack of trying. I don't want to play with that. I don't want to play with it. So back up. So we got a little dragon. And it, uh, we have our 20-sided die, and I guess it just kind of like sits there. So there you go. Daddy? Yes. I want to play with um, stuff that, that have no stands on Okay, them. that's good. Yeah, because you guys tend to break those. And um, it says Loot Crate on the bottom here, but yeah, Wizards of the Coast, the people who made... Um, Daddy, how Dungeons do you Dragons. know that? Because I can read, because it says it on the bottom. Uh, the stand is a little, like, flimsy, so, like, um, I'm hesitant to let my children touch this because they will inevitably break this off. Because all that's really holding it on are the dragon's two front feet, um, and those are very small. Nothing else, the back of the dragon, the tail of the dragon, nothing else is holding on to the bottom of the <laughs> of this stand. So, but this is a nice little thing. Um, like D &D. Again, I've never played it. Uh, I've tried two or three times, and it just never... Um, the campaign's never got off the ground, so, uh, but this is nice for any, uh, anyone that's campaigning, um, for, in Dungeons and Dragons. So we're gonna put that over here, and, uh, let's see what else. Okay, we got, look at this, guys. What's this? I don't actually play with that. You don't even know what this is yet. It's a Sonic. It's a Sonic. What kind of Sonic? It says on here, not a toy. I so, want yeah, we don't know what it is. Capable of traveling at the speed of sound. Sonic is known for his speed. Okay, it's a little redundant, but uh, from Sega, I think there's there's a new uh, Sonic the Hedgehog video, uh, not video, well, video game definitely, but I think there's a new um, comic book yeah, coming out that. soon. I think IBW just picked them up. So this is Sonic and Rings. Oh, back, up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, all of you. Okay, so we got Sonic here. And then, um, there's no instructions whatsoever. But it looks like we have two rings. All right, we can figure this out. 
here. This is riveting television or internet television. What does he do? So he's gonna get the rings. That's what he does. Look at him move. He isn't he going fast? Yeah, he's not moving at all, huh? Yeah. Um, these might stay in, ah, okay, these stay in a little bit better in the other direction. There and there. There we go. That makes more sense. And look at him. He's moving so fast. I yeah? Fast. Okay. So a little uh, little sock thing there. I um, play with nice that. touch. Okay, I well no, hold on. Yeah, you're gonna play with that? Okay, you already have the die in your hand though. So Oliver's gonna get that one, you have that thing. And now you threw it across the room. That's cool. Okay. Um let's see what else is in here, Parker. As you throw more stuff. No 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 no. I'll, Parker's playing with that one, you're playing with this one. Alright, we got Kid Robot. Woohoo! Twenty-five years keychain. So this looks like a a Simpsons keychain from from Kid Robot. Uh, which keychain will you get? It looks like it's like a lot of odds and ends from The Simpsons, from the 25 plus. I don't know, closing down to 30 years. And there it goes. See, last hit of all of 30 seconds, guys. The kid already broke it. So this is why you guys don't play with these things. It says 17 years older or more, and it's already broken. So so much for any exclusivity. That was a collector's item. Uh, that's already done for. So we're gonna open up this Simpsons uh, blind box thing here. I may, I may be able to glue that back together, but I don't have high hopes for it. But they, these things on here, we got Duck Beer, we got Blinky, the Three-Eyed Goldfish, Donut, Slingshot, um, the Couch, Jebediah Springfield's Head. It's not, it's Kid Robot's the brand. There's no guarantee this will actually be a robot, but we'll see. I want to play with that. You don't even know what this is. Tell me what this is and I'll let you play with it. Yeah. Okay. I we have. Want to play with that. We don't need again. Tell me what it is. A toy. No, it isn't. We have the hellfish uh, symbol here from uh, this is. a keychain. It is a keychain. This is exactly what this is. It's a keychain. Yeah. Um, this was um, a tattoo on one of the Simpsons. Was it? Was this on uh, Mr. Burns and um, Abraham Simpson? I think that was the case for them. Um, fighting Hellfish. So nice, cool little thing. As a little uh, keychain design there. But again, there's a bunch of other different symbols on there. So my kids just destroy everything that we get out of these boxes. So Do not, hey, Oliver. No, no, no. Play with Sonic, all right? He's already broken. All right, and our pin. So uh, it just says Galaga. Um, doesn't even say what the theme is on the pin. Usually the pin says what the theme is. This just says Galaga on it. So Daddy, it's a video game thing. Yes. Daddy, can yes. I see him? There's the pin. Galaga pin. And then our, again, we don't get a magazine anymore, but we do get this. So it looks like Playback is our um, theme. I don't play it. So is it kind of like an 80s? Yeah, transport yourself to the 80s and 90s. So it's just kind of like an 80s and 90s nostalgia pack in this, which I feel like that's half of them anyway. Um, is like kind of nostalgic. Oliver, no. Hey, yeah, you're not gonna play with that one either. So you got scolded. Because, because that's what it is. All of these things are exclusive. The Simpsons one does not say that it's exclusive. We lost one of them. All right, bye, Parker. And uh, again, the back and uh, this this box transforms into a little television. And uh, that's that. Okay, okay. Go sit down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it turns into a TV. That's it. Okay, this is the back of the TV. You can play with the AV cables in there. Um, that's it, folks. So uh, you can sign up for your Loot Crate in the links below uh, in the description stuff Daddy, there. You can get a box just we're talking to them. We're doing the wrap up here, okay? Uh, we're doing the, the, I forgot what I was saying, guys. I don't remember. But you can sign up for that, like 20-ish like bucks a month. You get a box just like this every month uh, full of nerdy goodies. No, I, I no, you're going to, I'll take it because you're going to break it. You've I already broken it one on. of the things. You've already broken 25% of what we have here. So that is it then, on. folks. Uh, again, you can find us online, horrortalk.com or Facebook, Twitter, what have you. Uh, and if you like horror comics like me, listen to Funny Book Splatter wherever you get your podcasts where I interview different horror comic creators every week. But that is it, folks, for this episode of What's in the Box. I have been James Ferguson. Joining me and Parker. Parker. That is it, folks. Goodbye. Say bye. 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 Daddy, I, I want to put this on. No. Okay. Bye. All right. Carefully.